All right, crew, Adam here. We're going to take a look at the RTX A6000 and Passmark today. We're doing the full benchmark. So 2D, 3D graphics, CPU, RAM, memory, whole nine yards. Let's take a look. All right, so here we are getting started. I, I launched the latest version of Passmark here, and I wanted to run through a couple of things. One, just kind of showing the specs just real quick. I'm running some very basic programs while I'm, while I'm doing the benchmark. Nothing too crazy, but there's the RTX A6000. And, uh, you know, there's the uh, AMD 5950X 16 core, 32 threads, as well as 120, 128 gigs of ECC RAM on a server grade motherboard, on a workstation grade motherboard from Asus. Um, let's take a look at one more thing here, too. Let's run PowerShell. And I wanted to show you that the memory comes back at six. Now, six is arbitrary. You have to actually look at the at what six means. So let's let me show you here in this notepad. Uh, one second. So, so depending on on what that value returns, it means different things. But here, what we're looking at is a value of six, which means that we um, that it's recognizing that it's multi-bit ECC RAM. What that means is that my motherboard understands the RAM that's installed on the computer, and therefore they're working together, right? Um, there's one more test we can check for ECC RAM, and that's this command here. What we're looking for is not matching values. So on non-ECC RAM, they both say 64 in both columns, but because it says 64 and 72, you know you have ECC RAM. All right, let's go ahead and get this benchmark underway. So for a lot of reasons, I couldn't record and do the benchmark simultaneously. In fact, I tried, but it threw an error and said something had to be on top, some Windows error. So I just took some pictures along the way, showing you that I actually did it, and then showing you some of the results here. Um, full disclosure, I had to run my 3D mark uh, a second time because... Um, while while it tried to do it the first time, Teams was up and it hit through an error. But anyhow, we see some some good marks here on the CPU. Um, I don't know why that the the score on the 2D mark was so low. To be honest, it says 87 percentile. I was expecting you know to be in the 99 percentile, just like the 3D mark was. But for whatever reason, we're stuck at 87. Okay, not really concerned about the 2D stuff anyway. But the 3D stuff is great. 26 169 you know that's there's some like really great values and comparisons there assuming that some of the data on um passmark's uh website is up to date and not only that but you know solid median values so what we see here is we 2169 compared to the 3080 and the 3090 um was spot on i mean it's like right or the 3080 3090 and then the uh, 6900 xt from amd so it's right up there with the big dogs um, I would rate it number two, um, given the, the score and, um, and I'm overall super happy with the performance. So if, uh, if you're looking for a workstation card first and a gaming card second, I think you might have found the winner here an RTX a 6,000, a beast of a GPU. All right. So now my personal goal with this benchmark was just to see how the RTX a 6,000 compared to other GPUs. But all in all, I got to see I'm really happy with how this computer came together and the specs and then how it's performing for my workstation needs, actually, um, rather than my like gaming needs, which is like what most computers are bench for, benchmarked for. Um, I feel like this runs SolidWorks and simulation like a champ. So i um, super happy with the build and glad you could join me, uh, you know, cruising the, the benchmark with the RTX A6000 and the AMD 5950X. So... Hey, if you watch this video all the way through, I can't thank you enough. I totally appreciate your time. I appreciate your likes and I appreciate your subscriptions. Um, every time I see the notification that someone subscribed, it's always like a, like a good feeling. So thank you very much and uh, hope to see you around next time. Fight on.